Hey guys, Drew here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be talking about my mealworm farm. Just very briefly, um, mainly this mealworm. This is a newly molted mealworm. It is not, like, dead. It's not a new species. A lot of the time, when people see an all-white mealworm, they will actually think, um, Oh, I discovered a new species of mealworm. Lucky me. Guess I'm gonna go be rich now. But, I'm just gonna gently place them back. No, it just means they molted. Here is the molt that was right beside this one, so I can assume it was his molt. It's really cool, actually. Um, yeah. And I did just get these, like, the day before yesterday from a pet store, so I do have two dead ones, sadly. Um, here I'm just gonna trash because I don't really have anything else to do with them. Right now, mine are loving this carrot. So I'll just put it back where it was. Alright. They love it. They're all burrowed right now. Um, other than these two that died, I had 121 that it began with. So minus two, that should be 119. So I should have 119. Also, I'm going to take this, them out of this big tote as soon as I know for sure they can't escape. Because it is a three-layered one. They could escape. It's very unlikely, though. So, yeah. Don't think you've discovered a new species of mealworm because you haven't. Um, I did a bunch of research before I got this, so I knew all about the molting. I did not discover a new species of mealworm, and neither did you. Sorry. Yeah, so, see you in my next video. I know this was kind of a short, kind of boring one, and I know a lot of people are grossed out by mealworms. But I have a hedgehog and four chickens, so I need mealworms. I know it sounds kind of gross, but it's true. I need mealworms when I have... 19 pets in my house, well, 19 pets total, because I have four chickens who aren't in my house, they're out back. And then I have a mealworm farm. I have a lot of animals in my house, that's the summary. And a lot of them are insectivorous, and if they're insectivorous, that means they eat inks. Oh, wow, guinea pig, sorry. There's three in my room right now. So anyways, see you in my next video. I'm going to go make the guinea pigs shut up by feeding them carrots and bananas. Bye!